Welcome to uh, FX Masterclass. My name is Ernest Rowe, and today's topic is the heart of an air gun, the regulator. Now, this is a typical FX regulator installed in, in mostly all guns, with the exception of the crown and the impact. And you gotta be really careful. You want your gun to perform really good. You need to be really careful to be thorough in cleaning it, inspecting it, and reinstall the o-ring and get the proper measurements all right and i took it apart here it is all, all taken apart right here usually one here it's loctited on when the preset measurement all right and to remove it most likely you have to heat it usually this section here, well, it's, it's threads, it's Loctite on to the body. Usually, this brass is kind of soft, so you need the precaution not to mangle it. <laughs> what I use here is a aluminum split ring. I'll put it over the, the outside of it. And usually get a vice grip and break it loose and unscrew it. When you un unscrew it, this is what you have without the O-ring. But anyway, before you do that, uh, if you don't have a, a proper test equipment, I'm gonna show you how to do it without, uh, without the test gear, all right? When you have the regulator out, all right, you need to take two critical uh, measurements here. This uh, brass um, neural here, it has to be a certain, it has to be a certain measurement when it goes to the aluminum body. So what I measure is, uh, I'll put it at the end of the brass body, I mean the aluminum, and on top of the the brass piece there, what I'm measuring. All right. This one is uh, 30.88. Usually 30.40 or 65 is a, a set area. You want to at least get to a 30.50 and, and that's a good measurement because uh, you want a clearance between the Let's say this piston moves in and out, right? Moves in and out. There's your Delron seat. Kind of came off, but it's in there. Got my glasses here. There. So we get the proper pressure. It will push the whole piston in and shut out the supply. All right. And if you, have, you don't have the proper clearance, and you see this the springs, the clearance in between them, that's all you have for travel forward to shut off the supply. If you have it too far out and you, and you can't travel all the way forward and shut off the supply, your regulator is not going to work. So it's critical to have that measurement. 3050 is a safe measurement. Another measurement. It's between the Loctite nut and where the aluminum body's at. All right, just in case, if you do loosen this nut and you wanna you know, clean the, the washers, the spring washers, and you wanna put it back, this is the, the reference point you need to set your reg pressure. Whatever reg pressure was set before, 130 or so, you need to tighten that nut down, get the proper clearance, so you'd be generally on or about 130 you had it before. So it's the, the nut to the end of the body and the brass fitting here to enter the body. That's your critical measurement, then you can take it apart if you have that. Okay. On mine, I just I just unscrew the body and keep this intact to keep my rake pressure uh, where it was before. 
if you didn't have a reg tester, you know your reg pressure was good before your regulator failed, you want this preset. So I just took it off and I, have to, I don't have to mess with this later, all right? All right, when you take this all apart, you have to clean everything. Make sure the o-ring o -ring ceiling surface has no gouges on there, no pitting. If you do, just clean it up with emery cloth. All right. When the oil inspection is good, we're going to reassemble it. All right. First thing we're going to uh, reassemble is the the small o-ring here is the high pressure end and the low pressure end. All right. All right. The first o-ring we're going to install is the high pressure o-ring. It's a two by nine by one point seven eight Dural seventy. You want to loop it. Kind of use your fingernails, pry it over. Yeah. Now your low pressure in. This is a uh, six o seven by one point seven eight zero seventy. All right, we'll leave that to the side. Now we're gonna put the O-ring on a metal seat. This is your metal seat. When you inspect this, make sure the metal pyramid is in good condition, not gouged up or dinged up. And you, like I said, you have to clean up your O-ring ceiling surface here and inside the body. This o-ring here is uh, 7.5 by 2, zero seventy. 70. Kind of pushing it flush. And your seat here has to be bottomed out metal metal. Right. Because uh, a shoulder here is sits metal metal, so you get a proper squeeze on your ring. It's critical to have it metal to metal, so you you have a preset distance of your seat. You can't be guessing halfway, just tighten it down before it bottoms out. I usually get a needle nose, turn it. Usually, when it's bottom out, you just can't it won't turn anymore. And that's it. Now we're gonna put the outside o-ring on. This one is uh, 11.9 by 2.62, zero seventy. All right, we'll put that this side and the outside sleeve. This was uh, 23.3 .3 by 2.4, door 70. You gotta put the seat on. You know, you gotta inspect the seat, make sure there's no really deep divot on there. If there is kind of really deep and kind of doesn't look good, there's a lot of pitting on it, just kind of flip it over to the good side. You can use either side. All right. You usually put lube on there to keep it in place. They did this on purpose so you could easily remove it, not lock tight it on, then you have a, a battle in your hand getting that out. Alright. Now we're getting ready to screw on uh, the piston onto the body. 
and it, this has to be Loctited on all right, so it doesn't vibrate with pressure and back out and lose your setting. We're going to use uh, 2700 uh, Lucite. There's a green one. All you need is a little bit on there. I mean, less than a drop, I think. Check your clearance or your measurement. I'm going for 3070. 3062, I think that's close. You don't have to be exactly on uh, 3050, but you're close. I also install them like this, about 30, 59, they still work. All right. Now we're gonna put the sleeve on. And the sleeve, all right, there's a shoulder on the sleeve here. And usually the nut protrude out of the sleeve. And there's a shoulder here, so when you apply pressure, uh, the inner body doesn't fly out. Right? There's a shoulder there for it. Like that. Now we'll see how close we can get. Well, let's pre-measurement and see if it was around 130 bars. Now we're going to insert the regular inside the test sleeve. We got a new uh, tester here. I kind of like this one better. Big old accurate gauge. Yeah. This is a 22 caliber, usually 115, 120 bars. We'll get you around 880, 865 feet per second for 18 grain. Let's see where we at. I think that's pretty close, 1800, mm, what, 1800 PSI, that's close to, uh, what was it? I'm just guessing, 115 bars. I was gonna leave it at that, and if I don't reach my target speed, I'm just gonna race up, tighten up on the, the nut to increase your rig pressure. So I'm just, this is only a test, I'm making sure the rig is operating properly. All it is now is adjusting the uh, Loctite nut and adjusting your washers, your spring washers. You screw it in to get the rig pressure up, it's kind of clockwise to lower the rig pressure. All right, let's uh, go ahead and bleed it. Cut off the supply. And his regulator is ready to be inserted to the gun and tested. All right, this includes this topic. And as you know, if you don't have a, a reg tester, go buy those measurements that I told you to take measurements before you take it apart. And so when you reassemble it, they'll get you in a ballpark. So then you could tweak it and according to your speed, you know, if you get your speed where you want it, then you don't have to mess with it. If you don't, you just gotta, tweak it just a little bit. It's always to go overshoot it a little bit, your target speed, then you could lower it down by the hammer spring instead of going back and forth and back and forth and adjusting it. All right? Uh, this includes this video. If you got any questions, leave it in the topic below and we'll catch you next masterclass.